this video I'm going to show you how to create a PHP website a simple one so that we can use it to deploy it on cloud so uh, you can use different IDE in order to develop this website but for my preferences I'm going to use my favorite one which is NetBeans IDE so let's just start by clicking on file new project then we choose PHP PHP application next we're gonna uh, Choose, let's say, student management system. One of the student management system. Remember carefully to browse it, to browse um, just to the uh, MAM installation location under the root uh, web folder, which is htdocs. Then uh, create your website over there. Click next. Then uh, remember also the port, MAM port that, uh, to put on this website. So let's uh, just see when you run this, it's gonna run on this port. How do we know this part? Click on the map and you click on preferences and you see the port. Okay, the port information for Apache port is on this one. Okay, and remember also the MySQL port is this. Okay, remember to change that port. Okay, next uh, we don't use any framework here right now, so next we don't use the composer. So click on finish. Um, so I'm gonna just delete this uh, comment to make it cleaner. Okay, so we're going to connect to we're gonna connect to um, MySQL server using let's say connections equal to uh, new MySQL light. Uh, we're gonna use this one. Then of course we need to provide all the information for connections. So I'm gonna put them here. The host right now is local host. Okay, the user, the default user is root, and the password. The default password for a man is also root. You can change this password to whatever password that you are using. Then the database equal to student DB that we created in previous video. Then the port. Um, you can see from MAM the port from MySQL server is here. Okay, port 8889. So we're gonna put the port as 8889. Uh, then the subcut. You can use this subcut, but then uh, so far I'm just gonna put as norm for the subcut information. After this, we have the connection. What I check if the connection is successful using MySQL Lite uh, connect error. If we do have a connection error, then we're going to let's say echo uh, display that MySQL Lite connect error. I ask you, my ask you light connect error. Okay, and we exit. Okay. Otherwise, we're going to let's say execute a query. So I'm going to put a query equal to we're going to select everything from student table. Then we're going to execute it and store it to the result equal to um, result equal to we're going to use the connections. Okay, we're going to query. Okay, we're gonna query the result over there. Then where uh, row equal to uh, result fetch assets. Okay, we're going to let's say display each row on a table. So before that, we're going to uh, create a table outside here, so it's easier. We create a table. Then we're gonna have the first row for our headers, the headers th, the uh, table headers for ID is the first one. Then the next one is for the name, the next one is for the address. So we're gonna have the name into address. Then uh, we're gonna cut this one to the end because we do not finish the table here, but finish the table after this. Uh, we're gonna format the code now for each of the row we're gonna echo the uh, echo the uh, uh, each row echo a row then this one we're gonna finish that row here oops okay. and before finishing the row we're gonna echo the uh, uh, data item okay table data item Echo the um, end of the uh, 
table data item. Then we're gonna echo the first data item that we're gonna display, which is the row for the uh, uh, for the S ID for the student ID. Okay, for the student ID. Similarly, we're gonna display three of the data a table data item for uh, 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 name and address. Name address. So this one is for name. And this one is for the address. So we're done. We're done. Okay. Now we're gonna try to run this website. Run this website. Okay, so we have our table display here on our simple website. Executed and done. Okay, we're gonna change let's uh, say the a uh, little bit about the borders. Border equal to one, so it's easier to see. Try to run it again. So now we successfully created the website and in the next video I'm going to show you how to uh, deploy it on the cloud using Google App Engine.